Seth and Tyler met in Montana kayaking on the local river. Tyler was 12 years old and Seth was 21 and in college. Despite the significant age difference, they became great friends. In the years following, Tyler went off to a world traveling kayak high school, while Seth finished college and became a professional kayaker. When Tyler finished up with school, they found themselves together on the banks of the White Nile in Uganda. It was there they decided to start planning for the ultimate road trip, the Pan American Highway. Since the Earth has opposite seasons on each pole, they devised a plan to follow summer from Alaska to Argentina while kayaking the best whitewater along the way. Seth and Tyler are known worldwide to just show up and bring the good times along with them. They were just a couple of kayakers living day to day, following their dreams. However, when they made a budget for the trip, they realized that petroleum to fuel them along their journey would be by far the biggest expense. One day, Seth ran into a group that was driving around using waste vegetable oil from the fast food restaurants instead of petroleum. Now, these guys are no geniuses, but they sure seem like a good fit for their lifestyles. No one can argue with free fuel. The more they learned about alternative fuels, the more they realized that they could use a trip like this to set an example for others to follow. Vegetable oil burns cleaner than petroleum and can be produced locally, minimizing the dependency on foreign oil. They illustrated all their ideas and made a high school science fair style poster to solicit like-minded sponsors to fill their remaining budget. Before long, they got sponsored by some of the outdoor industry's most environmentally conscious companies. In October of 2005, they headed to Mexico to tackle one of the biggest hurdles of the plan, learning Spanish. They wanted to be able to relay their message to the developing nations and give power to the people most affected by the petroleum monopoly. In January 2006, it was time to start building a vehicle suitable for their trip. The Toyota diesel Dyna imported from Japan fire truck. The boys met up with Tom Brunner from Sandpoint, Idaho. Spent nearly three months in Tom's garage building it into a vehicle in which they could live and be able to demonstrate how their new found fuel worked. <laughs> Her name was Baby. One side, she had a pop-out tent and a spiral staircase leading to the upper deck. On top, she had a six-pole tent so they could pull up and call anywhere home. On the other side, they designed a system that could burn literally any type of oil in their regular diesel engine and demonstrate how it worked. They even built a vegetable oil seed press into the vehicle so they could show how plants on the side of the road could be easily turned into usable fuel. Starting in March of 2006, they drove a figure eight around the U.S. and Canada to over 50 cities. While testing the new components of the vehicle, they distributed curriculums to youth and taught kids about the benefits of new ways to fuel the world. The next thing they knew, they were at the northernmost part of Alaska and would become the first group to drive the entire Pan American Highway without a single drop of petroleum in their fuel tanks. <laughs> 